All right, I got one of these uh, panel meters and I uh, wanted to talk about them because it might not be obvious to some people how to hook these things up. Uh, I use them on all sorts of things. Uh, I've got one over here just, just kind of glued onto the front of my um, power supply. There's no room to put it on the inside, so I just uh, hot melted it onto the outside and it gives me a nice uh, accurate voltage reading uh, with a, a, a cheapy power supply. Um, so let's uh, Let's take a look at this one. This one is um, uh, both volts and amps, so it's two meters and one, so that's kind of cool. But but it has all of the wires in it, so it has, it has five wires. So, oh my goodness, what do you do with these five wires? I'm not sure if they're well documented online or not, so I thought I'd do a video here and uh, show you how they, uh, how they work inside. And uh, then also there's uh, some adjustments on the back, so uh, we can figure out maybe what those adjustments do and uh, see if we can't... Uh, uh, th there must be like a gain or offset or something and we should be able to calibrate this thing. So let's see if we uh, let's see if we can't do that. But let's first see how this thing uh, actually is is wired inside and what what the why these why I have these five wires. All right, so there's two displays. They're both voltmeters. One is marked V and one is marked A, but they're both voltmeters. And the voltmeters need to have uh, power to work, right? They need to have a battery in them or something, but they don't have batteries, so you need to hook up a voltage. So there's a, there's a red wire and a black wire, and those are the little ones. There's two little wires and three big wires. The little wires are, are, are these two wires, and they just supply uh, power to, 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 to create these, to, to power up these two voltmeters. And now on this particular unit, it says uh, four and a half to 30 volts. So these guys could be anywhere from four and a half to 30 volts, and, and, and then the two uh, little voltmeters will work. Now, uh, this voltmeter just comes out on a red wire, so there's one of the voltmeters, and then there's a black wire, so the big fat black wire is the one down here. Now, the big flat fat black wire actually connects to the little skinny black wire as well, so both of these are, are connected together, so that may get you into trouble if you're putting it into some kind of circuit, so just be aware that these two are shorter together inside, okay? So the, uh, the top the top meter is just uh, red, red and black, okay? So just these two wires will create a voltmeter and it'll display it here. Now the other one is a voltmeter, but it, it's shunted with this resistor. And that means whatever voltage you put here has to go through this resistor. So it's voltage divided by this resistance gives you the current. And uh, so this is what's called a shunt. And it's actually, it looks like a big fat piece of wire in here, and that's the shunt resistor. So it's like a, probably a 0.01 ohm resistor or something like that, 0 0.05 resistor or something. Big, big, uh, very low, very low ohms, high wattage uh, 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 shunt resistor. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and hook this thing up. Uh, let's see here, let me, uh, let me draw a diagram of how I'm going to hook it up. All right, so we're going to have a power supply and I'm going to put a resistor uh, load on the power supply, okay? And uh, I can measure the voltage across my load, okay? So I can hook this one up to the red wire, the big fat red wire, and I can hook this one up to ground. And then I need to be able to power up the, uh, the little one too. I could either use a, a separate power supply for that, but I already have a power supply that's within the range. It's already, it's already okay. So I'm going to use I'm going to use the little red wire and the little black wire and I'm going to hook those up as well, okay? So they'll they'll be hooked up they'll be hooked up as well. And then we can get uh, the voltage across this resistor, okay? So let's do that first. This is the resistor I'm going to hook up. Hook up. It's the uh, big fat resistor I made, a high wattage resistor from 0.5 ohms to 100 ohms, okay? So we'll start here. Start here at 100 ohms. So let's uh, let's uh, go out and uh, let's get this thing hooked up. All right. So we need the fat red wire and uh, let's see how are we gonna hook this up. Okay. So I've hooked up uh, I've hooked up this uh, this circuit and uh, we have enough power to power up the meter. And it's kind of nice, the uh, voltage is red and the amps are blue. And it says that we have 10.0 volts across our internal resistor. And I can change that resistor here. I'm making it uh, more and more ohms. So here ohms, here it dropped a little bit, okay? A little bit of drop in voltage, but around 10, around 10, uh, 10 volts. Okay, but we're not measuring any current. 
and that's because we're not using the current measurement part of our power of our uh, our meter here, and that is the uh, the blue wire. We've hooked everything up, but the blue wire. That's the one thing we haven't hooked up yet. Okay. So let's go back to here. So we need to hook up the blue wire. Well, the blue wire is a shunt, and what we need to do is we need to have the current go through the shunt. Okay. And so on my diagram here. All right. I'm going to have to cut this wire here and I'll come over here and I'll put my blue wire. Okay. So now the current will go, we'll still measure the voltage here. The current will go through this resistor and then through our shunt, our shunts over here. It'll go through our shunt and then to ground. And so we're going to hook the blue wire up instead of our ground wire. All right. Hope that makes sense. I can zoom in a little bit here. Um, so we're going to cut this wire and we're going to insert the blue to, blue to black, right? So, so this is the big black wire, black wire down here. So it's going to go through the resistor, into the blue wire, out the black wire, and then back to our power supply. All right, let's do that. Okay, there we go. So we have it going through a 100 ohm resistor and that gives us 0.1 amps. Our voltages are going to be the same as last time. We have 0.1 amps. If I go to a 50 ohm load, it's going to double 0.2 amps. Then I go to a 30 volt, a 30 ohm load, it's 0.33 amps. Okay, 10 divided by 3. Um, and then uh, here's 10 ohms. 10 ohms is giving us one amp. Okay, so 10 ohms, 10 volts, one one uh, one amp. So you can see that uh, these guys are really handy. Um, you don't have to measure the same thing. This could be measuring some other voltage, as long as they have the common, they have a common ground. This measure can measure one voltage, and this thing can measure measure one uh, one current, and uh, that's how you wire it up. So I'm hoping uh, hoping that helps. Hoping that uh, uh, people will uh, find this uh, this diagram useful on how to hook up the thing. All right, now that we've made one measurement, let's see if we can change these little potentiometers on the board here and see what kind of changes we see uh, in the measurement. So I'm going to need some type of tweaking device. Let's do this one. And one of these is marked, marked IR and one of them is marked VR. So I'm, I'm assuming this is the resistor for current and this is the resistor for voltage. So let's... Uh, Let's adjust this one while we're watching it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 0.4 and now 1 uh, or 10. So that one adjusts the voltage so you can dial that in to be, to be accurate. Uh, we actually have 9.93 volts. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let me get rid of the load so there's no drops in any of the, any of the wires. But I know that I have 9.93 volts. So let's see if we can set this to 9.93. 9 point, oops, it's a little bit sensitive. Not too bad. 9.9, nine, oh, nine, oh, almost, I had it. 9.92. Oops, ah, went too far. It's hard to do. I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to keep it in camera here, and then it's messing me up. Nine five. It is a little sensitive. There we go. Nine five. Nine four. I'll call nine four good. Okay. So there we go. Now we're calibrated in volts. Perfect. All right. And then uh, we could do the same thing for amps, I guess. So let's see here. Do we still have amps working? Let me dial in some resistance. Yeah, we still have amps working. Uh, let's go here to. Uh, 0.34 amps. Let's just adjust uh, adjust the voltage to exactly 10. Oh, there we go. Exactly 10, and we're measuring 10. That's good. And then uh, let's adjust the current. So I R, which is the current current resistor. There we go. 3.6, 3.5, 3.4, 3.3. And there we go. So yeah. So you, if you want to have accurate measurements, you can come over here and you can uh, you can calibrate it with uh, 
with little potentiometers and uh, yeah, make your readings uh, make your readings accurate. Nice. Our voltage is a little bit off. We're now measuring ten, so I need to, need to go back. There we go. Ten volts. Perfect. All right.